Okay, let's talk today about the cost of not making a decision. Now, I'm totally guilty of this as well. And if you're a human being, at some point, you have procrastinated on making a decision. So there's no pointing fingers, there's no blaming, there's none of that happening here. I really wanna to talk to you today about the cost of not making a decision or the cost of putting off a decision because there is literally a financial cost to your business when you're not making an important decision. Okay, so if you're familiar with it, and if you're not, I'll go through and I'll just take a couple seconds and I'll explain this. Stephen Covey from Seven Habits of Highly Effective People has come up, had explained in his book, The Eisenhower Matrix, right? What's important, what's not important, what's uh, urgent, uh, what you can delegate, and uh, something, another category, right? Now, that's a really great place to start on where you end up with decision making. But what it doesn't cover is the true cost of not making a decision, and that's really what I wanna talk about today. There is a financial impact when you avoid making decisions, and these are the things that I'm talking about when it comes to your practice. Should you hire someone? You think to yourself, hmm, you know what? I'm not sure about that. So then you take some time and you talk to a recruiter, then you talk to some other law firm owners, you're sort of mulling around this decision in your head. It comes up while you're sleeping, maybe while you're brushing your teeth, when you're driving to work, you're like, should I, shouldn't I, you know? And before you know it, six months has passed in between your should I, shouldn't I? And it's taken up all of this brain energy of yours. You've spent your literal time talking to recruiters. You've spent your literal time talking to other attorneys on what they've done, right? You're doing all of these things, but in reality, what you're doing is you're putting off making a decision. Okay, let me give you another example. Should I or shouldn't I fire this client? Okay, this is a touchy topic because you're probably thinking to yourself, but they're paying me and I'm gonna argue back with you, but at what cost, <laughs> right? Like at what cost are you willing to give up your peace of mind and all of your sanity when they're calling you and emailing you constantly around the clock thinking that you're their personal attorney and maybe you are their personal attorney, but they have no boundaries, right? We've all had a client like that and we've all regretted it at some point. So what I want you to ask yourself here is, What's the true cost of having that client? And if you're thinking to yourself, should I or shouldn't I? You know, in that meantime, the cost of your indecision is they've called your office and really hurt your, you know, associate's feelings or your admin's feelings. And you've had to make, up, make it up to them by taking them to dinner or, you know, getting them some flowers as an apology or whatever you do, right? And you've got this client that you keep thinking to yourself, what am I going to do? Am I going to fire them? Am I not going to fire them? Am I going to fire them or am I not? And all of that is just like all this energy that you're spending. And then you're Googling, do I fire a client? How do I fire this client? You're talking to other attorneys. What do I do? Do I fire them or not? And you're just spending all of your brain power and your time on deciding whether or not to fire this client. Again, there's a cost to that indecision, right? Okay. Let's talk some more. Some other examples on how law firm owners sort of kick the can down the road when it comes to making a decision, right? Should I expand my team or not? Should I expand into a second location or not? I can't tell you how many times I've done strategy sessions with clients where the strategy session either said, yes, there is a significant financial benefit if you expand, or no, there is not a significant financial benefit if you expand, gone through all of that, they've had to pay me all of this stuff, and they still didn't expand. And they're still mulling it around in their brain, should I, 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 and there's no result, right? That is the true cost, is that your indecision leads to analysis paralysis, and you literally are preventing yourself from getting results. And 
there's this constant conversation and chatter that's going around around all these th things that you're not making a decision on. And it is a terrible way to be a business owner and a surefire way to get yourself a one way, one way ticket into an ins insane asylum, right? Because all of this stuff will keep like playing at you until you actually find a way to resolve it. So something that I offer to my clients is what I call the decision matrix, right? And that decision matrix, different from the Eisenhower matrix, it's a spreadsheet. And in that spreadsheet, you actually sit there and figure out what is the cost of you not making a decision. And if you did make a decision, this would be the financial benefit of it. Trust me, lawyers do not like making decisions until you present it in terms of money, right? So here's the cost of making the decision. This is the cost of not making this de decision. If one is like significantly imbalanced, you will, I guarantee you make a decision, right? Now, one of the decisions that I see a lot of lawyers putting off, and this is probably one of the most costly decisions that you can make as a law firm owner. The decision that you make putting off is firing someone. You know you need to do it. You don't know when. You don't know how, you don't know who's gonna replace them, but it's just something that you're like, oh, I just can't, I just can't, I just can't, right? So file all of this decision-making in operations because you as a business owner have got to be able to make decisions. And if you can't, it's operationally inefficient. And especially when it comes to firing someone, right? You not making that decision is literally costing your business money every single day because you have someone on your payroll who is doing less than adequate work, who has a bad attitude, who is just not worth it, and that is just costing you money. I mean, it is literally ching, 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 ching. And you're not letting them go, and you're not putting a time frame on it, and you're not doing anything. So I want you to know that we're, we've all been there. We've all been in analysis paralysis. We've all been in a situation where we can't seem to know how to solve the problem, what the actual solution is. And so that's why I've created like my decision matrix because it helps you get there quicker by putting a dollar amount to it. So if you want access to it, it's all in the show notes. You're more than welcome to reach out to me uh, if you have any additional questions and that's it for today. Thank you for listening in.